Even after a pay cut, Johnny Depp demanded $10 million for a disaster box office failure that lost $12.7 million. We find ourselves enthralled by the rewards given to actors, despite the fact that they have nothing to do with our personal interests. The allure is in figuring out the financial rewards received by these luminaries, which are motivated by a variety of factors. One of these stands out particularly for our current discussion since it gives us a benchmark by which to measure their contributions to the movies they appear in. Both positive and negative effects may result from this evaluation. Perhaps Johnny Depp is well aware of it. Modern agreements frequently include residual clauses or a share of the movie's profits. Sometimes actors choose to forego the first payment, betting on both their own skills and the prospective success of the movie. Johnny Depp once asked for a hefty fee for a bad movie. For The Lone Ranger, Johnny Depp charged a bomb. Johnny Depp straddles an unusual intersection and inhabits a strange space in the performing world. He has graced some of the grandest and most exceptional cinematic productions, making him one of the most successful performers in the history of the business. He is, however, also linked to a number of notable failures in cinematic gaffes. Take a look at two of his performances, including Mordecai and The Lone Ranger. Depp typically asks a price of $20 million for most productions. Amazingly, despite accepting a less payout to help control the enormous budget, he still received this amount for his work on The Lone Ranger. For his role in Mordecai, Depp also voluntarily accepted a significant salary drop. As a result, the project ended up earning him about $10 million. However, following closer inspection, it becomes clear that Depp's compensation was excessively high when one considers that Mordecai's earnings fell short of the $50 million threshold and that Depp's salary was almost 20% of the budget. Even if Depp was not directly responsible for the The Lone Ranger disaster, it is unsettling to consider paying him $20 million for a project that ended up losing more than $100 million.